Hey there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I will learn about Azure Active Directory tenant. So a tenant represents an organization and an organization receives it uh, when they sign up for Azure or Microsoft 365. So each Azure Active Directory tenant is distinct and separate from each other. Basically, that means there is no connection between any Azure tenants. So if you create two different tenants, then there will be no connection between them and they all will be separate and their data will be separately stored. And remember this line that when you create a new talent, then you are creating a completely new instance of Azure Active Directory. So what that means that uh, once you create a new uh, tenant, then you have to make all the configuration that you made at the beginning of the previous uh, tenant. For example, we add a custom domain name in the previous video. But if in this video we will create a new tenant that will not automatically grab the domain name as its primary domain name if you want to use that domain name in the second tenant then you have to add it manually so that's the theory part now let's move to the practical so that you can understand it in a better way here click on microsoft enter id in the overview go to manage tenant so this is our default tenant and currently we will create a new tenant for that click on create now from here choose what type of tenant you want the first one is Azure Active Directory B2C. This is for business to consumer, the B2C stands for. And if you have a website or any kind of application and you want to authorize the user or consumer, then you can use B2C. If the employees of your company want to access through tenant, then you can use the second option, Microsoft Enter External ID. Click on Next. And in the configuration, you have to name the organization. Then you have to configure a initial domain name for this one uh, that will come with dot on Microsoft on dot com. So in the previous video, I explained about it, how the domain name was created. So here you have to give the domain name and this domain name will be the default domain name and primary domain name for now until unless we add a new domain name and make it primary till that time. This will be the primary domain name of this tenant. So I'll name the initial domain name as the same, but I can make in any difference here. That will be no problem. Then choose your country. Then choose your subscription. Then the resource group. You can create a new resource group or continue with the previous one. Then click on review and create. Then click on create. So our tenant is successfully created. Now let's go back, manage tenant and now from here we can access our tenant. Let me show you how you can switch to different tenant. So currently we are in our default directory tenant. So if you remember in the previous video, we created a user m-bob which is still available here means we are currently in our default tenant. And if you want to switch to another tenant, then choose the tenant and click on switch and we are switched to our tenant now if i go to overview as you can see this is our new tenant that we just created and the primary domain that you give at the time of creation and from here we can create a new user we'll name that john Review and create, then click on create. I refresh this base, and our user John is successfully added. So now let's change our tenant to the default one and click on users. And as you can see, no user is added here. That means if we create a user in the second tenant, then that will be not effective in the first one, means there is no connection between these two tenants. So that's it for this video. I hope you like this video and if you learn something new throughout this video, then make sure that you like the video and if you are new to the channel, then subscribe to the channel.